same way that we do today. What I did specifically do, I did take the decision last night to make officers aware of information that enabled them to continue to protect the public in the way that we do day in, day out. What that involved, actually, was I brought some of my night shift officers on early and I kept my late shift officers on late. That enabled us to provide them with the information that they need to carry on with business as usual in relation to the information that we received yesterday. It's very much the case that what happened last night was we continue to patrol, we continue to respond, we continue to go to road traffic collisions, we continue to arrest criminals and that continues to happen as it would do on any other Monday night. People received a briefing in relation to information around the threat level and the threat level obviously increased to severe back in October of this year. Um, at that time we took the opportunity to provide officers with a briefing including information around how they travel to and from work and wearing partial uniform whilst they do so but also some really important information around the security of our police buildings and, and the really important part that we wanted to make people aware of last night was how important it is for them to remain vigilant as they go about their duties so we can protect the public and it's really important to get across to you as well that there was absolutely no threat to the public uh, from the information we had yesterday uh, and we shared the information as soon as it was appropriate to to do so. Okay,